Okay, we will learn the last method. Okay, method 3. Kramer's rule. Alright, so consider the system of equations. Okay, so first step, you need to find the determinant of the coefficient of x and y. Okay, given by d. You will use this formula to solve x. Okay, and you will use this formula to solve y. Therefore, the metric at the numerator is obtained from d by replacing the first column of d, a1, a2 with c1, c2 for x and replacing the second column of d, b1, b2 with c1, c2 for y. Okay, for a 3 by 3 matrix to find x, y, z using Kramer's rule, step 1, obtain metric a, x and b. Step 2, find the determinant of a and step 3, replace the value of the first column with b to find x. Replace the value of the second column with b to find y. And replace the value of the third column with b to find z. And step 4, find the new determinant for part 1, 2, 3 in step 3 here. And then step 5, divide the determinant for part 1, 2, 3 with determinant of A to find X, Y, Z. Let's try example 25 here. Solve the following system of linear equations using Kramer's rule. Okay, so now first step, you need to change the system of linear equations in the form of AX equal to B. So, matrix A equal to the coefficient matrix X equal to X, Y, Z and matrix B equal to the constant 2, 5, 1. Okay, second step, you need to find the determinant of matrix A here. Okay, you can use expanding along the first row to find the determinant of A and simplify you will get 1 for determinant of A. Find the value of X, Y, and Z using Kramer's rule. Okay. Now, we need to find what is X. Okay. So, to solve X, we will use this formula of Kramer's rule. Determinant of D sub X divided by determinant of A. Okay, so here the numerator, okay, numerator of x here is come from matrix A. So, you need to replace the first column of matrix A with the matrix B. So, matrix B is equal to 2, 5, 1. Okay, that's why here column 1, you replace it with matrix B. Column 2 and column 3 remain. Just copy from matrix A. Okay. Now, find the new determinant of the numerator. Okay. And then simplify. Divide by determinant of A. Determinant of A is equal to 1. Okay. So, you get negative 6 here. Okay, next, to find y, the formula is determinant of d sub y divided by determinant of a. Alright, so the numerator here, okay, column 1 and column 2, you take it from matrix A. But for column 2, you need to replace the column number 2. Of matrix A with the matrix B 2 5 1 and column 1 column 3 remain find the new determinant for the numerator of Y and then you divide by determinant of A equal to 1 here so you get negative 3 alright to find Z replace the Third column of matrix A with matrix B. 
column 1 and column 2 remain. So find the new determinant for the numerator. And then divide by determinant of A, you will get 2. Let's try exercise 14. Solve the following system of linear equations using Kramer's rule. Okay, so first step, find A, metric A. Okay, metric A is the coefficient metric equal to 9, 4, negative 6, 7, negative 7, 8, 1, 2, negative 3. Okay, this one is metric A. X equal to X, Y, Z. And then B, metric B equal to negative 1, 17, negative 4, the constant. Okay, next step, find the metric notation. The formula to find metric notation is A times X equal to B. Okay, therefore, so this one is the metric notation. Okay, next, find determinant of A equal to, okay, expanding along the first row, 9 times determinant of negative 7, 8, 2, negative 3, minus 4, times determinant of 7, 8, 1, negative 3, plus negative 6, times 7, negative 7, 1, 2. Simplify, you will get 9 times 5, minus 4 times negative 29, minus 6 times 21. So, determinant of A is equal to 35. Okay, find X equal to, so, determinant of metric A. The first column of metric A, you replace it with metric B. So, negative 1, 17, negative 4. Okay. Column 2 and column 3 remain. So, you just copy back from metric A. 4, negative 7, 2, negative 6, add negative 3. Okay. Divide by determinant of A. So, determinant of A is 35. Okay, and then simplify your answer. Find the new determinant of the numerator by expanding along the first row. So, negative 1 times determinant negative 7 at 2 negative 3 minus 4 times determinant 17 at negative 4, negative 3, minus 6 times determinant 17, negative 7, negative 4, 2, and divide the whole thing with 35, determinant of A. And then simplify, you will get 35 over 35, equal to 1. X is equal to 1. Next, find y. Okay, determinant of a, column 1 and column 3 remain. 9, 7, 1, negative 6, add negative 3. Okay, column 2, you replace it with metric b. Negative 1, 17, negative 4. Okay. And divide the whole thing with determinant of A, 35. Okay. Simplify the numerator. Okay. Find the new determinant of the numerator. So, expanding along the first row. So, 9 times 17 at negative 4, negative 3. Plus 1. 7 at. 1, negative 3, minus 6, 7, 17, 
1, negative 4. And then divide the numerator by 35. Okay. Simplify, you will get 70 over 35. So y equal to 2. Lastly, find z. Okay, determinant of A, column 1 and column 2 remain 971, 4, negative 7, 2. Replace column number 3 with metric B. Negative 1, 17, negative 4. And then divide by determinant of A, 35. So find the new determinant for the numerator. Okay, expanding along the first row equal to 9 times negative 7, 17 to negative 4 minus 4, 7, 17, 1, negative 4 minus 1 times 7, negative 7, 1, 2 and divide by 35. Simplify, you will get 105 divided by 35. So z equal to 3. Therefore, x equal to 1, y equal to 2, and z equal to 3.